Economies of scale occur when increasing output is translated into a decline of the firm's average cost of production. Let's see a graphical representation of this phenomenon. The x-axis, or horizontal axis, measures the quantity of output produced, x, while the y-axis, or vertical axis, measures the average cost of production, noted AC. Let's say that, for a level of output production such as x1, the firm has an average cost equal to AC1. Now let's say the firm decides to increase its production level and produce x2. As a result of this increase in output, the average cost drops to AC2, due to economies of scale in the production process. This green curve shows the path that the average cost follows as output level increases. As we can see, at a first, the average cost of production drops with every additional unit of output. But then, at point E, it starts increasing with every unit. Until this point, the firm enjoys economies of scale, which, as we know, translate in a decreasing average cost with every increase in output production. From point E onwards, the firm will suffer from diseconomies of scale, and therefore, the average cost increases due to an excessive size of production. Economies of scale are important to every firm, as long as they can take advantage of them. It's worth mentioning that economies of scale are related to subadditivity, and therefore to the sustainability of natural monopolies.